this is one thing that I was interested in. <clears throat> what it? Uh, this will go into philosophy, but what are both of your um, value systems or ethical uh, leanings? I guess. <clears throat> Like um, egoism, altruism, uh, uh, utilitarianism. Um, if you don't know what any of these are, I can help you uh, help describe them. No, um, I've I have studied these things. I the categorical imperative, um, uh, deontological ethics. Uh, I know, like. Structures, or, but I don't know what they're called. You, you know what? So, 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 yeah, sorry. Like, I know, like, concepts of each and one of them, but I don't yeah. exactly know what they're called. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can define for me, as I explained. Yeah. Well, I'm, like, with myself at the moment, I yeah. think I'm doing a lot of growing, and, like, just this past year... Um, a lot of my mindsets have changed, so I, I can't categorize myself at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of things that I was really sure of turned upside down, and so I'm like reevaluating a lot of things. So, but with FI, don't you have like a set of like values that you just don't ever give away? Like these things just cannot be changed. This is how I Regardless. see. Regardless, uh, sorry. Oh, uh, this is how I see F I and F E. So there, uh, there's F, which is feeling, right? And then I and E is um, I, the individual first, and then E is the environment first. So, <clears throat> um, I think. Well, F the thing for me is yeah. I want to know the I want to know the truth. Okay, and so when I seem to see that maybe I am not, my understanding isn't complete on something, I, I'm i totally willing to do like a 180 and go the other direction. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't mean to say I don't have values, but maybe it would kind of sound like that to somebody if I explained it that way. So you, I guess the point is you, you want the ultimate truth. So it doesn't matter which direction you take as long as it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And you don't mind changing your, I guess, ethics, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Your value no. system? Your value systems, yeah. Mm -hmm. If it means... So how do you know what the right, like, what the truth is? What feels like truth to you? She just left the room. She just wrote it. Get this shit out of my like, I don't need this. I don't need. I don't need that thing. I don't need this. I don't need. She's like, F U G H. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. I think that's the funniest okay. thing ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I offended somebody. No. <laughs> you didn't. Okay, re rewatch this part, Sime, when. <laughs> this is so funny. I did that. I was like. That's a lip. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, sorry. Like, That's maybe amazing. I should have there. <laughs> Just leave in the middle of <laughs> the conversation. Oh, this shit, I'm out. I'm out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Hilarious. You have That's to check hilarious. this. That's like, yeah. We will show Wa you. I'll watch this part again. <laughs> yeah, I know that. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> what were you we doing? We died. <laughs> No, I was trying to adjust. <clears throat> I had to move 
truth because maybe you should have let us know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Because we were literally in the middle of answering. It's just like. <laughs> 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 oh my god, uh, I'm dead. Yeah. Well, oh after, I did it, after I did it, I was like, oops, they're probably gonna be like, what? <laughs> so you only realized after you did it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, is that why they say that INTJs, they just while they're hanging out with their friends, that they don't mind just like disappearing? Probably. Because I heard that that's what they do. Because to me, that, like, that never occurs to me. Like, before I leave, I, I mean, I don't always have to say goodbye to everyone, but, like, I do like to make a scene when I leave, you know? <laughs> um, but I guess it's not like that. Well, now she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks for letting us know, Sammy. That was nice talking to you. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you in the cabin in the woods or something? What, where are you? <laughs> where are you? Are you camping or something? She's trying to find a weapon. So she... Right. <laughs> Why is she always in the dark? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> where do you live? Do you live in the forest? No, I don't live in the forest. I just in the I live with I live with people who um <clears throat> like going to bed early and so unfortunately like I'm moving out like in oh, nice. a week or two. Okay. They were like, the lights are still on. Oh, that's I'm cool. like, okay. Moving. Oh yeah, you both are moving. <laughs> Story of my life. Yep. Yeah. So Where were we? sorry about that interruption. I I'm sure that was probably it's like, okay. Very, um, Oh yeah, we're talking about value systems. It's okay, it looks and funny. Think... <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, rewatch it later. <laughs> I look okay. Funny. Go ahead. <laughs> I think I think Jihei asked you uh, about your value system as an INTJ or something. Yeah, and I and I was saying that like if truth is what's the most important thing to me. So if yeah, if I have to change something completely, um. I'm I'm okay with doing that. Okay, um, now but I, I, I caught I really up do with my a lot of evaluation. Like I don't just do it like on a whim. Um, I have to do a lot of <clears throat> searching and thinking before I do that. You know what I mean? Right. She asked you what? How do you know what the truth is? I think. Yeah. I need to plug in my computer. <laughs> With what you feel is right to you, or with what you think the world needs? No, it's not. It's not what I feel is right to me because I think I think that's subjective. Um, yeah, from person to person. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So I would say it's probably more with what I think the world needs than what. But again, I, that's a subjective. You could look at that in a subjective yes, way. Yes, that could be subjective. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, but... Because, for example, let's say we're talking about uh, a serial killer. Are you for capital punishment or are you not for capital punishment? And uh, some people might say uh, capital punishment should be allowed because it's for the best of all. But again, some people might think, no, how do you know that it's best for all when you are killing someone based on their um, inability to understand or comprehend their own psyche and, and these people are the ones who are ill and that we should protect people of all kinds regardless of their sickness or whatnot, you know? So like, how do you determine what the truth is? Because they're both their arguments. They are fair arguments, but I do, I do think that like once, like if you're talking about a, ser a serial killer, yeah. your rights stop when like they infringe on someone else's rights. You know what I'm saying? I know there's, there is, um, there's an argument for both sides of that. 
but I'm also the there's a justice too. Um, so I guess I have a pretty strong sense of justice. Um, what is justice, guys? Because what if, okay, let's give you another um, more in depth story. What if this criminal had a really messed up childhood and was traumatized yeah. um, from, you know, getting constantly abused or, you know, um, was attacked and was surrounded by negative influences in his life and lost the ability to think for himself mm-hmm. and and thus was created. It was like more of a uh, environmental influence on him. And so then that puts the society uh, at, you know, at fault. So he is a creation or the product of the society. So how do we determine whether or not if he deserves to be punished for his own, uh, you know, crime or is, is the society responsible for the crime? Oh, I mean, you, if you put the question that way, yes, both can be responsible for the crime. Um, and that's where I'm dealing with situations, you know, not similar to that, but, but, but that seeing both sides, there's a fair argument for both. Um, and it, it's the world isn't so black and white anymore. Like you can't just yeah. make black and white statements. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I'm dealing with right now where I'm like, yeah, you know, um, Unless you're talking about the colors black and white. Well, yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was just being um, logically precise. <laughs> but again, sorry. Here's a lot of here's another interruption. As judges, don't you guys want to just settle on one thing? Oh yeah, I would love to have everything figured out. And like I said, when I was younger, I thought I did, right. but I don't. For me, I would. So have- it is gray. Do you guys have a lot of grays? Like, oh, right now I do. I have a lot of great, like, I've had a lot of people ask me some, like, deep philosophical things recently, like, what, what are my ethics on this or that? And I'm like, you know what? I have to be honest with you. I'm really reevaluating a lot of things right now. And I am, like, really confused. So come ask me in a little bit. <laughs> I think for me, is that an I? Isn't that an I? Like, doesn't, doesn't an I, like, uh, find it hard to kind of, like, reach a conclusion especially when it when it comes to uh you know like humanities and Mm -hmm. ethical ethical uh concerns like isn't it hard to like kind of arrive at like a black and white Mm -hmm. conclusion Mm -hmm. right and doesn't that frustrate you guys doesn't that give you guys anxiety (laughs) isn't it harder for entps because you're a perceiver to come up with to reach a final conclusion or decision for me, no, for me, it's more black and white. Okay. For me, it's... Really? But I, I reach the black and white through the gray, and I love the gray. Like, I think chaos is, like, cha- chaotic, like, not knowing what the truth <laughs> is. I want to find the truth, and I'm, like, motivated by it. For me, It it's... actually makes me feel at ease. Sorry, and how does it work for ENTJ? Uh, for me, it's not black or white or gray. It's more colors. There is it are... rainbow? No, it it's all the colors. <laughs> it's all the colors that are possible in the world. Um, uh, well, and he, okay, okay, do you okay, know go ahead. that white is? Uh, <laughs> do you know that white is a combination of all the colors, and black is without uh, color? So yeah, um, yeah. So hmm. okay, there, there I, I are, see where you're well, going. here's here's. Here's another thing I've been yeah. thinking out, thinking about. There's a lot of constraints people put on subjects like this, like like thinking outside of the box. Thinking there, you know, people say there's either black or there's white. Well, what if there's even another way? And I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Like, on a lot of issues, people will be like, you know, there's either this way or there's that way. And if you don't fall fall in either side of thinking, then you're well, I don't I said know. But I'm like, but what, so if, what if there's spectrum. a completely new? Yeah, yeah but what if there's a completely new way to go about this that nobody's thought of yet? Maybe that's just giving me the indecision at the moment because I'm like, what if there's a color wheel? What if I find? 
Yeah, what if I find a way that's... So instead of a gray scale where there's black and gray and white, or a binary scale where there's just black and white, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is I view it as a color wheel, that there are many different approaches and strategies to different circumstances and situations that may arise in the world <clears throat> mm -hmm. or in the universe at large. Uh, for me, I don't... For me, there, there are, there's usually always more than one solution. Um, I usually, I tend to champion what I see as the ideal solution, but there are also other solutions that work perfectly just fine, um, but that might not uh, be as ideal as that solution that would be my first choice. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, I there are these uh, other options which I can pursue that may solve the solution just as well, but maybe not as fine as my first solution. But those second, third, fourth, fifth options um, get the job done anyway. <clears throat> uh, and so, so you're not thinking in black and white terms. You're thinking more of like option one, option two, option three, option four, and these are all valid options, and there's no one right way of going about it. Yeah, but I, I see it, <laughs> I keep saying, I keep seeing it as colors. These options are colors, and they aren't weighted. They're more just different ways of expressing um, this desire to solve a problem or, sol mm -hmm. or situation. Uh, if that Let's say the problem was blue, then would you answer in the blue? If the problem was blue, then if I would answer in the blue? Um, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Because I feel like with the colors, kind of like like uh, the orientation of the solution. So if it's like justice oriented, if it's um, kind of like more harmony oriented, if it's more uh, like order, logical oriented, so like, if the problem was like, blue as in like, uh, it requires logic, then would you use the logic? Um, probably as my uh, color of choice, but then- Logic, there, Yeah, but then there are these other colors that might um, get the job done just as well, but not as well as blue. <laughs> we're so, we're talking so abstractly, um, so yeah, I, yeah. I I understand what you're saying. I think so. If yeah, if if the problem is um, uh, a dilemma in ethics or justice, which mm -hmm. which we'll say is purple. So I mm -hmm. I might use a. Um, my my first immediate uh, option would probably be um, a purple solution or something from that system uh, mm. that we currently have in justice. Uh, so, uh, we'll use the capital punishment example again, even though I don't want mm -hmm. to. And so, are you getting it? Huh? Are you against it? Uh, <laughs> I haven't really. I haven't Controversial really, topics. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I Here really you sat, go again. <laughs> I haven't really sat down to uh, know what my um. personal strategy would be, but I would, again, I would uh, analyze uh, different the situation, yeah, this, the situation and apply the strategy that would best fit mm -hmm. or solve that uh, situation. So 
maybe so maybe capital punishment would work in this one situation it might not and in this yeah. other situation see so, that's what i was saying about there's no black and white answers you so, know yeah so so what i'm saying is me personally i uh it doesn't matter whether or not i am for or against it what matters to me is will it solve the problem in that arena or not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the most efficient way possible. In the best, in the in the best way possible best for, the, for the greater good. Mm -hmm. um, the, maybe the, what is the greater good? Maybe the solution, the greater good, would be <laughs> for the greatest benefit of every individual. What is possible. the great? What's so, the greater good? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So, am I? Am I being? Am I being? No, um, you're, what you're doing is you're applying the Socratic method to get to the mm -hmm. truth. And, yeah. Yeah. And, I love that. The Socratic method. Yes. Yeah. Somebody else said it. Not just me. <laughs> and no, so I understand what you're, what you're asking. Because um, uh, it doesn't feel right to me when you just leave it at that. You know, I want to know. Yeah, what you no, definitely. And I'm, I'm trying to um, come up with the words in the moment <laughs> to try to explain um, my perspective. Um, uh, For me, and, the greater good kind of, is, yeah. sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll define what greater good to me is in this context. For me, it's when um, the capital punishment for this example um, is... Can you see me? My face. If this lessens the amount of uh, recreation of these types of crimes, like that is to me what the greater good is. If it uh, decreases the chances of us having to perform the criminal um, capital punishment, then that to me itself is a greater good. Um, so I guess the minimizing of the crime itself, um, of serial killing, I guess, in this context, um, And I guess yeah. that itself is for the greater good because it gives safety to others. Um, and so it is kind of like my FB performing again because I'm putting the, the, the other people more than the criminal himself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, what about you guys? We're each thinking. <laughs> and I'm like, um, dot, 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 put yeah. dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, take your time to think. Um, there to think and say something significant rather than just blabbing mm -hmm. about nothing and <laughs> not saying anything really of substance. Um, GA's like, was that a shot at me? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, because for me, like, I don't, the thing is, I, I can, uh, I, I think as I speak, right? Yeah, like, yeah. for me to, like, actually get to a conclusion, I need to keep on, like, yeah. blabbering out words, even if it makes yeah. no sense at yeah. all. I'm like, and then I, I kind of, like, look at people's reaction, and I'm like, okay, maybe what I said wasn't right. And then I kind of, like, take another turn, and then I'm like, okay, maybe this sounds right. And then I look at other people, and I'm like, okay, maybe this isn't right. And then... And then like I start kind of like formulating like what is the right way and then everyone kind of like at the end of the conversation kind of knows what where this whole thing went but people who just don't get the the purpose of my my conversation they just think I'm just blabbering out words and that's like where my feelings get hurt cuz I'm like people most people don't really want to engage in this type of communication right you see how like I was talking about blue and like, if you will solve the problem in blue, like no one will answer that because everyone's like, what are you talking about? Why is blue coming out of nowhere? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, guys, blue, it makes total sense to me. But everyone's like, no. We got, we and got, it's really we frustrating. <laughs> we understand. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's so fascinating because like, 
the, the way that we, we speak in abstract terms and the way that we actually get what we're talking about itself is like so fascinating. And we're, it's not even like we're on a different level either. It's like everyone kind of understands what I mean by blue, you know? Mm-hmm. It's another language in itself. <laughs> You're so... <laughs> Sorry. You know? <laughs> like, and that itself is abstract and that itself is... I don't know. I can't. I just... I, I can't. I'm just laughing at. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um. Sorry, there's like a tear forming in the corner of my eye. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's just like something in my eye. <laughs> um. There are these random moments that I get where I go into these emotional states. I don't know, maybe it's like after watching a movie or I don't know. Melancholic, maybe... like melancholic? So yeah. Kind of like... Yeah. <clears throat> or when I'm listening to someone speak and they say, I don't know, some inspirational line randomly in the middle of their message, then I mm. uh, start to go into that melancholic state. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Um, does that, that feel that, nice, or does it feel like, oh crap, I'm in my feelings? No, it's it's more like, um, damn, I'm feeling this right now, <laughs> or uh, I don't have an aversion towards feelings, really. Um, mm-hmm. I think the only time when I would have an aversion towards feelings would be when. Um, like Jihei was saying, someone was uh, attacking me through an emotional means. Um, besides that, I'm pretty uh, attracted to that realm, that realm of sentiment. What, whatever the feeling may be. I don't know, for me, does it give you comfort? So, do you feel alive? Uh, not really. I, I I think I feel pretty much the same. I think for me, it's it's just more an opportunity for me to learn more about myself, and for me to uh, keep going. Learn more about how the universe works. It's not really. I can keep going regardless of the emotions, whether I feel them or not. <laughs> it, I, I, I think I, I enjoy the emotions because they help me grow as a person and help mm. me learn more about the human condition in general. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah. You see, this is the thing. I think we're all just so used to misunderstood that whatever we talk about mm-hmm. our true things or like how we truly think about mm-hmm. the world, that we're afraid that people are going to get like the wrong assumption about us. But it's like it makes total sense, and there's nothing to be feeling sorry or like embarrassed about, you know? Because mm-hmm. I, I feel like it's only natural for us to feel this way due to our cognitive function. Um, but it's just like because no one shares the same type of sentiment or because no one is able to feel emotions on a, on the same level as us. It's just like hard for us to express them. And so we're just so used to repressing them and just having this opportunity to talk about it itself is like an awkward, but like very refreshing and like, you know, it's enlightening, you know? Yeah, I enjoy listening to us and NTs in general talk about feelings because we take this analytical approach to <laughs> sentiment. Whereas, of course. Yeah. Whereas other feeling types... <laughs> and through colors. <laughs> yeah. Whereas feeling types may just analyze feelings through the lens of feelings, if that makes sense. Whereas we take this thinking approach to mm-hmm. talking about our feelings. <laughs> yeah, you know, sorry. You know what Like, I'm jealous about, though, about ENFs? Is their ability? I don't know. I think this might kind of like hit, hit, like kind of like get you more in your like mind for David. But like, I feel like NFs are really good at writing, um, or making music. 
because they're able to convey so much into their words and they're more verbally fluid than the NTs, I feel like. Mm -hmm. uh, in a sense that they're able to capture the emotions and they're able to kind of like spread that emotion through words and through pieces of art. And it's like, we can do that too, you know? But it's just, yeah. I feel like it's a little bit less natural for us to do that, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I, I don't think it's... Uh... It's really the level of expertise of like how well developed uh, your FI or I don't know because you know how like you're not no. crying right now you're not crying about like talking about emotions yeah but yeah. an F might cry and yeah, like they would. yeah and that itself is like moving you know like I get you and I totally feel you and I I understand, I feel like, you know, wow, like that's inspiring or like, wow, that is impactful. But like, it just cannot be compared to someone who cries about it. It's just more of mm -hmm. a fan factor, you know, it's like wow factor. Like it just gets you in the heart. Mm -hmm. For me, I think it's more just the aesthetic of it. <laughs> <laughs> aesthetic yeah. of the crying a bit? Like, yeah, how, like, it's more it cries. It's more beautiful, um, rather than simply discussing it through words, through words, you know. Because um, okay, I say, for I say example, that, I say that. So. Let's say you're sorry. Let's say you're watching a TED talk. There are two speakers. They're both surgeons. One cries and one doesn't cry, but still talks about like the same family. Uh, they're, they're, let's say they perform the surgery on the same same family, okay? But let's say one surgeon cried and the other surgeon didn't cry. But they both like had the same. They went through the same roller coaster, like emotional journey. Um, mm -hmm. But the person who cries, doesn't that person look more heroic to you? No, they can seem heroic, but to me. They look the same. Um, I think so. But that's that, again your perspective because yeah. I feel like majority would think that the person who cries will look more. Yeah. Um, you know. That's why. Like I said, look like they care yeah. more or yeah, they're that's more in tune. I said or... They would seem, but to me, in, in my perspective, they would be yeah. equal. Um, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, guys, I'm probably I'm probably gonna have to log off soon because my computer is dying, okay. and okay. I can't go I can't go into the room to get my charger <laughs> okay. because I'm gonna oh, disturb yeah. somebody. Okay. Right. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we should go soon. Yeah. How long do we talk for? Do you guys can you guys check the time? 